Restrictions on new development in old neighborhoods. The city council is taking up some proposed zoning code changes this week, which are meant to protect existing neighborhoods from new multi-unit developments that don't mesh with the surrounding homes. Yeah, Garrett Berger joins us in studio to tell us all about it. All right, Garrett, what exactly is at issue here? Well, Steve, it comes out of concerns that have been around at least for a few years. The changes can actually be traced back to more than two years ago when District 1 Councilman Roberto Trevino requested the City Council look at the issue of multifamily zoning. The issues here are zoning designations that have been used to build new developments like condos in mostly single family home areas that some residents feel just don't fit in with the rest of their neighborhoods. Issue Issues the changes are meant to address include how tall the buildings have been built, the fact their entrances don't face the street, and how close they can actually get to the street. Members of an inner city neighborhood group told us they're worried about these kinds of new developments towering over existing homes and changing the character of the neighborhoods. The problem is, is that they're coming, they're cherry picking MF33 lots in our neighborhoods and destroying current housing stock and also the the fact that it doesn't fit with the rest of the neighborhood and it breaks up our community spirit. Well, this had originally come up for a vote last week at City Council, but there was concern over a proposed amendment. So the Council's Planning and Community Development Committee took that issue up last night. So we'll see on Thursday if the Council is ready as a whole to pass it this time around. Steve.